We've started Sophie's harness work by just having the harness out and mingled with her toys in the kitchen. That gives her a chance to habituate to it. We add to that by making positive associations for her in small but significant steps, starting with just popping morsels of food in the middle of the harness and allowing her to retrieve them whenever she's ready. Okay, let's hold it there for a second and think about what we're doing. Sophie is getting a chance to habituate to the harness. It has no negative connotations for her besides being new, and so it becomes neutral. We're supplementing that by making positive associations between the harness and something she likes. We walk up to the harness and drop a tasty morsel inside it for Sophie to recover at a time of her choosing. In truth, the thing that rocks Sophie's boat may be an ear tickle or a little play, and that's fine. Touch the harness and ear tickle to follow would be the thing in that case. We're getting engagement. Sophie is actively showing curiosity in what we're doing and anticipating something she likes. She likes things on the floor in the kitchen and she likes people doing things with them. And we get contact. The more contact around Sophie's neck, chest and back area we can have, the better for looking ahead to securing the harness. Now we're going to make things a little more obvious. We're going to bring the harness in with us and then put it down, deliver either the food or the affection, then pick it up and take it away. Rinse and repeat. The next step is to hold on to the harness and tip it up slightly before you deliver the prize. Ideally, we want Sophie to put her nose in it, but a brief investigation will serve our purposes just as well. I already know that Sophie will do this, but if you're using food, then throw in an added bonus of a chest or ear tickle. Up until now, the harness strap has been sitting on the floor. Now we're picking it up a little and repeating. As you progress slowly, you will hold the harness further off the ground, but do plenty of repetitions of each stage. The next stage, once Sophie is rocking the last one, is to gradually tip the harness top into a horizontal position over Sophie's neck. If all is going well, Sophie should be offering her head at least part of the way into the harness. Now I'll just leave you to watch as the process builds incrementally until we're laying the harness on Sophie's back and ultimately clipping it on. Then comes clipping it on with the lead attached and encouraging her to move in it. But this will do for now. Before I stop talking and let you watch, here's an important message. Order of events is important. Always present the harness before you deliver the food or the attention. The harness needs to predict the arrival of the good stuff, not the other way around, and not at the same time. This is true whether you find you need to lure her into the harness using food or your hand, waiting for her to start putting her head through before you reveal the prize, or if you are gradually moving the harness over her head.